each one of us in the presence of the Lord. Where there is fullness of joy. This being the day that the Lord has made. We are going to rejoice and be glad in it. We have the joy of the Lord. Which the devil cannot take away from our hearts. Let me ask you church. Are you ready for the word? Are you ready for the word? Those of us seated lies upon with your Bible on your in your hands. If you do not have a baby. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us decorate the house with our Bibles. Lift up your Bible in the air. Shake it like so and drive the devil crazy. He is the only one who doesn't love the word. Somebody say after me, this is my Bible. This is my Bible. This is the word of God. This is the word of God. This word has changed my life. This word has changed my life. And this morning, and this morning, my heart is good. My heart is like good. a fertile ground. Like a fertile ground. I am ready to receive. I am ready to receive the ever living, the ever living, the incorruptible, the incorruptible seed of the word of God. Seed of the word of God. I am ready for change. I am ready for change. I am ready for my miracle. I am ready for my miracle. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Say Amen. Amen. Put your Bible somewhere and worship the Lord with a clap of Hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. Then you may be seated with a Jesus smile. And because we are people who love one another. We are people who love one another. Kindly share your Bible with the person that is seated next to you. In case they do not have one. Luke chapter number 16 Luka kumina seta. And the verses number 19. Wa kumina tisa. Luke chapter number 16. Luka mlango wake ni wa kumina seta. And the verses number 19. Na mustari wa kumina tisa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Luke 16 verses 19. Luka kumina seta mustari wa kumina tisa. There was a certain leash man who was cross in purple and a fine linen, and feared sumptuously every day. But there was a certain beggar named Lazarus, full of sores, who was laid at his gate, desiring to be fed with the clubs which fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, the dogs came and licked his sores. Akasema palikuwa na mtu mmoja tajiri, Aliyevaanguza rangi ya zabarau na kitali safi na kula siku zote kwa anasa na maskini mmoja jina lake Lazaro huweko mlangoni pake ana vidonda vingi naye alikuwa akitamani kushibishwa kwa makombo yaliyoanguka katika meza ya yule tajiri hata mbwa wakaja wakamramba vidonda vyake so it was that the beggar died and he was carried by the angels to Abraham's bosom the rich man also died and was buried. Ikawa yule maskini alikufa, akachukuliwa na malaika mpaka kifuani kwa Ibrahimu, yule tajiri naye akafa akazikwa. And being in torment in hell, he lifted up his eyes and saw Abraham afar off and Lazarus in his bosom. Then he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me. And send Lazarus that he may dip his the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am tormented in this frame. Basi kule kuzimu aliyainua macho yake alipokuwa katika mateso akamuona Ibrahimu kwa mbali na Lazaro kifua ni mwake akalia akasema e baba Ibrahimu ni hurumie umtume Lazaro achovye ncha ya kidole chake majini au burudishe ulimi wangu kwa sababu ninateswa katika moto huu but abraham said son remember that in your, in your lifetime you received the good things and likewise lazarus evil things but now he is comforted and you are tormented ibrahim akasema mwanangu Kumbuka ya kwamba wewe uliyapokea mambo mema yako katika maisha yako 
na Lazaro vivyo alipata mabaya na sasa yeye yuko hapa anafarijiwa na wewe unaumizwa and besides all this between us and you there is a great gap fix so that those who want to pass from here to you cannot nor those from there pass to us na zaidi ya hayo kati yetu sisi na ninyi kumewekwa shimo kubwa ili wale watakao kutoka huku kwenda kwenu wasiweze wala watu wa kwenu wasivuke kuja kwetu Then he said I beg you there for father that you descend him to my father's house for I have five brothers that he may testify to them lest they also come to this place of torment Abraham said to him they have Moses and the prophets let them hear them He said no father Abraham but if anyone goes to them from the dead they will repent Akasema basi baba na kuomba umtume nyumbani kwa baba yangu kwa kuwa ninao ndugu watano ili awashuhudie wasije wao pia wakafika mahali hapa pa mateso Ibrahimu akasema wanao Musa na manabii na wawasikilize wao Akasema la baba Ibrahimu lakini kama akiwaendea mtu atokaye kwa wafu watatuko The message this morning is entitled Why he saved you Ujumbe asubuhi ya leo una mada kwa nini alikuokoa Why he saved you Kwa nini alikuokoa So that if you are not born again you allow him to save you today ili kama hujokoka umruhusu wa kukoa leo Our God is a God of purpose Mungu wetu ni Mungu wa makusudi Our God is a God of plan Mungu wetu ni Mungu wa mipango Our God is a God of objectivity Mungu wetu ni Mungu wa malengo When he saved you and me Alipokutoa ukutoa wewe nami When he saved you and me Alipokuokoa wewe nami It was for a given purpose Ilikuwa kwa kusudi fulani And God has preserved us alive today Na Mungu ametuhifadhi hai leo Because he has something that he intends to do with each one of us Kwa sababu ana kusudi anataka kufanya kila kila mmoja wetu Being blessed is a good thing Kuwa hai ni jambo nzuri Being blessed is a good thing Kubarikiwa ni jambo nzuri But that is not all na hiyo haijatosha. Are you listening to me? Unanisikiliza? The Lord has preserved us alive. Mungu ametuhifadhi hai. A time like this one. Wakati kama huu. Because there is an assignment. An assignment. Kwa sababu kuna jukumu. That he has given to us. Ambalo ametupa. That we ought to fulfill. Ambalo tunahitaji kuleta. He has preserved us alive today. Ametuhifadhi hai leo. Because there is something that he wants to achieve anataka kulitimiza even through your life atakupitia maisha yako that is why he has given you a sound mind bwana amekupa akili timamu and that is why he has given you good health bwana amekupa afya nzuri that is why he has been watching over your life bwana amekuwa akiangalia maisha yako and night usiku na mchana and he has not allowed your enemies na jaruhusu maadui zako to triumph over you kushinda juu yako he called you to be the light of this world alikuita wewe nuri ya ulimwengu huu he called you so that you may allow allow him alikuita ili uweze kumruhusu even to shine through your life aweze kung'aa kupitia maisha yako he changed your life alibadilisha maisha yako he gave you another name akakupa jina lingine initially you were called a sinner ulikuwa unaitwa mwenye dhambi pale mwanzo today you are no longer a sinner leo wewe sio mwenye dhambi you were called saint james wewe unaitwa mtakatifu you are called saint john unaitwa mtakatifu you are called saint mary unaitwa mtakatifu you are called saint kamau unaitwa mtakatifu kamau you are called saint otieno unaitwa mtakatifu Because he has given you a new name. Kwa sababu amekupa jina jipya. After he saved you. Baada baada ya kuokoa. You belong to God now. Wewe ni wake Mungu sasa. And God has preserved you alive. Mungu amekuhifadhi hai. And he is blessing you every day. Na anakubariki kila siku. Because there is something kwa sababu kuna kitu that he intends to do with you. Anataka kufanya na wewe. Now we realize kunaskia hii there was a certain rich man kulikuwa na mtu mmoja tajiri he lived in the days of jesus aliishi nyakati za yesu and god had blessed him na mungu alikuwa amembariki just like he has blessed you jinsi ambavyo amekubariki the guy was so blessed mtu alikuwa amembariki sana the name of this person jina la mtu huyo his name was davis jina lake lilikuwa davis jesus did not give his name yesu akumpa jina hilo 
because he did not want to offend his relatives. He used the wisdom. He did not want to make the relatives to know that when their son died, he went to hell. So he scolded him a certain rich man. He was close in purple. And the fine linen. Because God had blessed him. He was feeling unwell. Good things were happening in his life. Because God has ble- had blessed him. The way he has blessed you. The way he has blessed bless our listeners. That are listening to this word through the social media. I want you to know God has blessed you but he does not want you to forget the most important things. Are you listening to me? This rich man forgot the most important thing. He forgot that he was not to live on us permanently. He forgot that his days were numbered. He did not calculate his steps well. He did not look at the big picture. He did not consider his future. Hallelujah. He did not answer one very important question. And the question is that he did not answer. Where shall I spend my eternity? After this life, he never answered that question. My brothers and sisters, that is a question that each one of us here must answer now where you would want to spend your eternity after this life. Because even as we sit here, none of us knows how many years are remaining or how many days are remaining or how many hours are remaining. Are you listening to me today? God does not want us to walk in ignorance. This man lived in ignorance. He ignored the most important thing is things in his life. His relationship with God did not come fast. Even though God had demonstrated his love to him by blessing him, by making him to access things that other people did not have access to. God had blessed him. He forgot the most important thing. His relationship with God. Are you listening to me? As the Bible says, there was also another person. This man was a beggar. His name was Lazarus. And the Bible says, this beggar had many wounds or he had souls in his body. And they carried him and laid him at the gate of the rich man. He desired to feed to feed from the rich man's table. And the Bible says that the dogs licked his souls. Then verses number 22 says that the two of them died. And the first one was the beggar. So the Bible says it was that the beggar died. But on the day that the beggar died, something unusual happened. Angels were dispatched from heaven to come and receive him, to come and receive his spirit, to come and receive his soul on the day of his death. This shows us this shows us that he had a good relationship with his father. He had a good relationship with God. Are we together? So that when he died, 
Il est allé pour confort. The angels of God were sent from heaven. To call his soul to heaven. And let me tell you. You need to consider that one very seriously. And you need to ask yourself. Who shall come for you? On the day that you leave your body. Are you listening to me? Who will come for you? Is it the angels of God. That will come for your soul. Or is it the devil. And his demons. That will come to receive your soul. And go with it to hell. Are you listening to me? Now that we are alive. We need to be careful. Whom we serve with our So the Bible says, and being in torment in head, he lifted his eyes and saw Abraham afar off and Lazarus in his bosom. Basi kule kuzimu aliainua macho yake alipokuwa katika mateso akamona Ibrahimu kwa mbali na Lazaro kifuani mwake. I want you to know today that when people get out of the body, when people die, they either go to heaven or they go to hell, depending on how they lived here, depending on their relationship with God. Those who die without Christ, because Jesus is the way to the Father, He is the truth. He is the life. He said, No one comes to the Father except through me. People who neglect Jesus, people who refuse to give their lives to Jesus, when they die, they don't go to heaven because Jesus is the way to heaven. Are you listening to me? People who are sinners, people who are liars, people who are drunkards, people who are sexually immoral, people that are idol worshippers, people who are only religious but they don't occupy in doing the will of God when they die they go to hell are you listening to me so this rich man died and he went to hell and in hell he was being tormented he opened his eyes and that tells me that the spirit man has eyes. Because man is a spirit being. He has a soul. And he lives in a body. Are you listening to me? You need a clear understanding of who man is. Man is a spirit being created in the image and in the likeness of God. Man has a soul. He lives in a house called the body. Are you listening to me? When people 
die, they move out of the body. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the Bible tells us that the spirit man has eyes. He can see. He has ears. He can hear. He has a mouth. He can talk. A spirit being, a spirit man, his legs. He can walk. Are you listening to me? So the rich man in hell, he lifted up his eyes and he looked across on the other side. He saw Abraham and he recognized Lazarus. I want you to know today that the grave is not the end. The grave is the destination of our bodies. But when people die, their spirits and their souls they don't go to the grave they go to heaven or to hell depending on how one lived here on earth whether young or old I want you to notice that the rich man he was being tormented in hell verses number 24 he cried and said Father Abraham have mercy upon me because he could recognize Abraham he could recognize Lazarus. He said, Have mercy upon me. And he said, Lazarus, that he may dip the tip of his finger in the water and cool my tongue so I am tormented in this frame and that tells us that in hell there is a fire tell your neighbor there is a fire in hell there is a fire in hell tell somebody else there is a fire in hell there is a fire in hell this fire is for tormenting those who, who denied Jesus those who refused to receive him as their Lord and Savior. That is not your destination. I said that is not your destination. But his testimony is that he was being tormented. And the part that was burning most, the, the part that was burning the most was his tongue. Because it is with his tongue that he had refused to receive Jesus. It is with his tongue that he said when he was given an opportunity that my time has not come. My day of salvation has not come until he was caught and away and he died he denied the Lord with his tongue the Bible says that it is with the mouth it is with the tongue that we confess that Jesus is Lord and we receive salvation it is with the heart that we believe and we are saved are you listening to me because he denied the Lord with his tongue the tongue was the part of the body that was burning the boats. So he told Abraham said Lazarus to dip his his finger in water and come and cool my tongue because I am being tormented. Abraham responded by telling him son remember remember that in your lifetime Katika, you received the good things. Wewe mengi yako, but you are not wise. Na hekma. You did not honor God. Mungu. You did not fear the Lord. Mungu. Even though you received the good things. Likewise, Hive, basi, Lazarus, Lazarus received evil things. Mabaya, he was not rich like you are. But he feared the Lord. Mungu. He served the Lord. Likewise, Lazarus received evil things. But now, he is being comforted. He is being comforted. But you are tormented. Because you rejected the Lord. And then he said to him, and besides that, there is a great gap that is fixed between us. 
so that no one can pass from there to here. And all those from here pass to you. Nobody can come from where we are to where you are. And nobody can, can come from where you are to where we are. Listen to me, my brothers, my sisters. If you are in a time we can change our mind, if you are in a time we can change our mind, and change the our destiny, and change 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 there are no prayers that can be made to make God to change his mind. That is why he says in the book of Ezekiel chapter number 18 and the verses number 22 no, verses number 32 Ezekiel 18 Ezekiel and the verses number 32 the Lord says I have no pressure in the days of the one who dies, sees the Lord, therefore turn and leave. People do not die here on earth. Here on the earth, people sleep. You didn't hear what I said. People do not die here on earth. Here on earth, people sleep. When somebody passes on, they say so and so has slept. Hallelujah. So people don't die here. People sleep. Death happens in the, he in the spirit realm. Are you listening to me? And the death is for sinners. For the Bible says in Romans 6 23. Romans 6 23. That the wages of sin is death. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life in God. In Christ Jesus our Lord. Are you listening to me? This happens in the spirit realm. When the people sleep here. On on earth, earth, and they go to the spirit realm. Those who are born again. They hear the Lord saying. Well done. Enter, good and a faithful servant. Enter, enter into the kingdom. Are you listening to me? Those who die in sin, when they get to the gates of heaven, that is where death happens. They are separated with God forever. Death means separation with God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Death means to be separated with God. When somebody is condemned to hell, are you listening to me? So death happens in heaven. In the spirit realm. When the people receive their wages, because of how they spent their lives here on earth, the wages of sin is death. Meaning separation. Now God leads you and me that we may hinder people from going to hell. You didn't hear what I have said. God leads to you and he leads to me that we can stop people from going to hell. Beginning with the members of our family. Our wife and our children. Our husbands and our children. Our brothers and sisters. And even our parents. We should stop them from going to hell. We should make it difficult for them to go to hell through where we are. We should make them to know when they are here on earth that Jesus is the way to the Father. He is the life. He is the truth. He is 
He is the way. He is the truth. And he is the life. No one goes to the Father except through Jesus. That is why God lays you up. The Bible says that he who saved you God saved us not according to our works but according to his purpose and grace that was given to us in Christ Jesus before time began. What is that purpose? That we may hit the people from going to hell. God saved us so that we may become Fishers of men. I want you to know. You are a fisher of men. You are an official of men. You are an official of men. Are you listening to me? In Matthew 5.16. The Bible says. That you should let your light so shine before men. Let your light so shine before men. That they may see your good work. And glorify you Father who is in heaven. The one who saved you. The one who called you. The one who made you to become the light of the world. The one who forgave your sins. The one who loved you before you loved him. Are you listening to me? We are alive today in order to shine for God in this dark world. If your sisters go to hell God will demand their blood from you. If your brothers and sisters go to hell, because you refuse to make a difference, when you die, God will demand their blood from you. Because he called you to be the light of the world. Are you listening to me? Proverbs 11, verses number 30. The Bible says that the fruit of the righteous is a tree of life. And he that wins souls is wise. I am wondering this morning how many wise people do we have in this house? How many wise people do we have in this house? If you are a wise, lift up your hand and say, I am wise. If you are wise, lift up your hand and say, I am wise. I am wise. Wise people are soul winners. Wise people love people. Wise people love God's people. You need to hear what I say. Wise people love God's people. Are you listening to me? The reason why we win souls into the kingdom of God is because we love people. We do not want them to go to hell when they die. We do not want them to go to where Davis is. Hell is a place of torment. There is fire in hell. Are you listening to me? It is disobedience that leads people to hell. When we disobey God, people who are born again, they can go to hell. They can go. Because of their disobedience. You didn't hear what I have said. People who know the law, they can go to hell. Because of their disobedience, the highest level of worship that we can give to God is God our obedience. And the Lord called you so that you should go to your neighbors, to your workmates, to the people of your village, to the people in your community. That is why God shows you. That is why He saved you. So that you can use your feet to go to your neighbor to tell them that God loves them. I want you to know if your neighbors go to hell, God is counting on you. Listen to me. You cannot afford to live carelessly. You cannot say to me, you cannot say to us that you do not care. Are you listening to me? God has kept your life so that you may help him 
to win your wife, to win your husband, and to win your children. Are you listening to me, children who are here? God has kept your life. He has brought you into this church that you may help the Lord to win your balance because God does not want your balance to go to hell when they die. Are you listening to me? If your parents are not serving God, you need to be concerned. You need to be concerned. If your mother is not born again, and you love your mother, you go to make it difficult for her to go to hell when you are seeing. Are you listening to me? Make it difficult for your father to go to hell while you are washing. Are you listening to me? Make it difficult for your wife or for your husband to go to hell when you are still washing with your eyes. When people die without Jesus, it does not matter how good they are. They may not not be drunkards. They may not be prostitutes. But so long as they are not born again, if they die in that condition, they will go to hell. They may have English names like Mary Magdalene or John the Living Soul. But I want you to know God is not an English man. We are not going to heaven by our English names. The way to heaven is called Jesus. He is the one who died for our sins. And before he went to heaven he said in my father's house there are many mansions. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and I prepare a place for you, then I will come again for you and receive you to myself so that where I am, you may be there also. God does not want anyone to go to hell. You didn't hear what I have said. God does not want your mother to go to hell. God does not want your father to go to Hell. God does not want your friends to go to hell. That is why he laced you up. So that you may shine for him. Verse Timothy. Chapter number 2. And the verse is number 4. The Bible says. That is the desire of God. Is that all men should be saved. All men should be saved. And that they should come to the knowledge of the truth. That there is only one God. And only one mediator. Between men and God. The man Christ Jesus. Who gave himself a ransom for us. I want you to know. If you don't do something about your sisters. If you don't do something about your brothers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you do not do something about your neighbors, they shall die and they go to hell. But God will demand their blood from you. I said God will demand their blood from you. Are you listening to me? God does not take your pressure in the days of a sinner. Mungu hafurai kifo cha mtu mwenye dhambi. And we go to conquer the sins of our community. Are you listening to me? We need to know that God is not a drunkard. God is not a prostitute. God is not an idol worshiper. We need to know. Verse number 5. And we need to go out and tell people that God loves them a wonderful plan for their lives. I want to bring it home. John 15 verse 16. Our last scripture. 
And this is why many people do not receive the answer of their prayers. Many people are praying. And they don't see God answering their prayers. Because they don't obey. Or they don't understand. John 15, 16. You did not choose me, but I chose you. And I pointed you that you should go and bear fruit. And that your fruit should remain. That whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. Si ninyi mulio ni chagua mime, bale ni mime nilie wa chagua ninyi. Na mi ni kuhweka, mwende mkazae matunda. Na matunda yenu ya pate kuka. Ili kwamba lolote mbalo baba kwa jina langu awapeni. God shows you. And God has preserved you alive. And listening to me. That you should go to your sister. That you should go to your brother. That you should go to your mother. That you should go to your father. That you should go to your neighbors. And give them a warning. That if they die in their sin. They shall go to hell. But God loves them. God loves them. He does not want them. Hataki waende kuzimo when they die. The reason why we are alive today. Sababu ya kuwa tuko hai leo. And I told you the way God wants to use this church. Na niwambeje zimu kwa nataka kutumia kanisa hile. That God wants to use this church. Kwa nataka kutumia kanisa hile. To change this community. Kwa badalisha jumu ya he. Are you listening to me? Ya unanisikileza. Because there are many sinners. Kwa sababu kuna tindadambi wenge. Who are in the house of God. Amba katika nyumba ya mongo. There are people who go to church. Na tono enda kanisane. Ukauliza ukovu ni nini hawajui ukovu ni nini? Unanipata vizuri. Because they are preachers who don't preach the truth. Kwa sababu kuna wahubiri wasiohubiri kweli. They are preachers who don't care people go to hell. Kuna wahubiri ambao hawajali watu watawakienda kuzimu. All that they want is their money. Ila macho wanataka ni pesa zao. I dare tell you the truth. Tanambie kweli. I am not here for mimi siko hapa kwa ajili ya pesa. Bali kuonesha watu njia kwenda kwa Mungu. Are you listening to me? Na kama utaenda kwa majirani zako. Kama utaenda kwa mume wako. Ama kwa mke wako. Na kwa watoto wako. Waleta katika nyumba ya Mungu. Wanapokufa. Mungu atakudai damu yao. Luke 16 The rich man called David said, I beg you therefore father that you descend him to my father's house for I have five brothers that he may testify to them lest they also come to this place of torment. Akasema basi baba na kuomba umtume nyumbani kwa baba yangu kwa kuwa ni nao ndugu watano ili awashuhudie wasije wao pia wakafika mahali hapa kwa mateso it be possible yawezekana that there are members of our families who died kuna watu wa jamii zetu wanapokufa before they received jesus kabla ya pokea yesu and they are praying for you from hell na wanakuombea kutoka kuzimu and they are praying for you from hell na wanakuombea kutoka kuzimu Wale ambao maombi hawezi kujibewa. You can pray for your mother to be born again now. Uweze muombea mama yako aokoke sasa. You can pray for your brothers and sisters to be born now. Uweze muombea ndugu na dada zako aokoke sasa. You can pray for the alcoholics. Uweze muombea wale wale. You can pray for the drug addicts. Uweze muombea wale wale. You can pray for the prostitutes. Uweze muombea wazee. You can pray for the lesbians. Uweze muombea wale ambao You can pray for Which doctors? You can pray for gay people. For them to be born again. But I want you to know. When they die. When they die. Nobody can deliver them. From the fire of hell. God will lose them forever. Mungu atawapoteza milele. If you love your heart kama unampenda mume wako kama unampenda mke wako kama unapenda majirani zako you will do 
everything possible to win them over to the Lord. David said, I was so glad when they said to me, I was so glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. You need to ask yourself, before you say God has not blessed me, before you say that God does not answer your prayers, you need to ask yourself, how many people have you brought into the house of God? How many people have you brought into the house of God? I know people who take people to to wishes and wisdom. How many people have you brought to the Lord? You did not choose me. Choose me. But I chose you. And I appointed you that you should go and bear fruit. And that your fruit should remain. So that whatever you ask my father in my name. So that whatever you ask the father in my name. He may, be, he may give it to you. The reason why our prayers are not being answered. Is because we are not bearing good fruit. Because the Bible says, in this is my father glorified. John 15, verses number 8. In this is my father glorified that you bear much fruit. In this is my father glorified that you bear much fruit. In this is my father glorified that you bear much fruit. In this is my father glorified that you bear much fruit. Are you listening to me? Daniel 12 and verses number 3. Daniel 3. Daniel 3. Daniel 12. This is how the righteous should be led. Those who are wise shall shine like the brightness of the firmament. And those who turn men to righteousness like the stars forever and ever. Na walio na hekma watanga kama mwangaza wa anga na hao waongozao wengi kutenda haki watanga kama nyota milele na milele. Those who are wise. Wale about wenye hekma. Those who win souls are wise. Wanaugua nafsi ni wenye hekma. Those who let before men are wise. Those who gather together with the Lord are wise. Let me speak to our teenagers who are here. If your mother or your father does not come to this church, do whatever you can to get them to church. If your husband does not come to this church, do whatever you can to get them to church. Or oh, your wife, whatever you can do, even if it means to pray and fast, deny yourself food. If your sisters are not serving the Lord and your brothers, don't give them peace until they turn to the Lord. God has no pressure. You could be receiving this word through the television. You have never given your life to Jesus. Every time when God sends his servants to you, you tell them that your life, your time is not yet. That is what Davis did. Until he landed in hell. Today, don't say my time is not yet. Surrender your life to God. Will you kindly make this prayer after me? And give your life to Jesus. Say, my Father in heaven, I come to you today. I realize that I am a sinner. I need to be forgiven. I believe you sent Jesus. I believe you sent Jesus. And he died on the cross. Because of my sins. You released him from the dead. That I may live.
I acknowledge Jesus as my Lord and Savior. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, write my name in the book of life and make me clean by washing me with the blood of Jesus Christ. Forgive my sins and my iniquities. I say no to the devil and to all that is evil. Lord Jesus, be my Lord and my Savior from today and forevermore. Amen. Amen. You are now born again. Your sins are forgiven. Go to a Bible believing church. If you live in Kiseria, the Reverend Church Upper Room is opposite Cooperative Bank in Kiserian Town. Then the entrance to our church is next to B. Hope Hardware. You'll find your way to our church. And you will be blessed by joining the happiest people on earth. Big things are forgiven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We will see you next Sunday. For today, we give you an opportunity to honor God with your substance. Using the pay bill number that is on your screen. Get the M-Pesa line. Kindly call on us and tell us what God has done done for you. We love and we value you. In Jesus' name. God bless you.